Hey there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today I'm going to go over eight tips that I think will help you out in these last 24 hours of study. Tomorrow's the AP test and all this hard work, all the hours you've been putting in, it'll all pay off. You're almost done. Hang in there geographers. You guys have got this. Have confidence in yourself. And remember, it's just a test. Don't let it define you. You guys are going to do great. Now, before you watch this video, if you haven't checked out the video I posted earlier today, which looked at how to answer a political, economic, a social, a demographic, and a spatial question, check that video out. A lot of you in the comments said you were struggling with how to best answer those questions. So I made a quick video that gave you a bunch of ideas. So if you see those questions on the test this year, you have the tools you need to be able to answer them. Okay, enough of this intro. Let's get into my eight tips for last minute studying. First thing I'd recommend doing is relax. You guys can do this. You've been studying all year. You've been putting in the work. The fact you're watching these YouTube videos shows you care about your education and you're going to do well on this test. At the end of the day, it's just a test. Yes, it's online and it's at home and it's just two FRQs and that can be really stressful. But you guys need to have confidence in yourselves. You can do this. I know you can. So my first advice is relax, it's gonna be okay. Tomorrow when you open this test, breathe. Look it over and then go to answer the questions. At the end of the day, it's just a test. Second thing you should do is review some of the major concepts. Scale of analysis, scale. Look at Von Tunen's model, look at that demographic transition model, population pyramids, the epidemiologic transition model, Ravenstein's, how do these things interact? Diffusion, have an understanding of these big concepts. Those can connect to a lot of different situations. And for the models too, I'd recommend, look at how they work for the world today and how they don't. For example, Von Tunen's model, specialty crops or specialty value added crops don't really connect with his model. So if you had a question that said, explain to the degree in which Von Tunen's model can be applied to the world today, you could reference both of those pretty easily. It's all right. You still got time, but look those over and definitely focus on some more of the application of those models, especially since it's open note this year. They're probably going to be asking you to make more connections to the real world. Number three is to look at maps and data. And this is a big one. This year, the test is just stimulus questions. So what I want you to do is go to Google and try to find some different maps. Figure out the scale and the scale of the analysis of the map. Then what I want you to do as a great practice exercise is just think to yourself, what is this map showing me? What statements could I come up with that would be true about the map and what statements that I could come up with that would be false? This is a great way to practice breaking down information. This way when you get to the test tomorrow, you're comfortable at reading maps that you may have never seen. This will save you a lot of time on the test. And for data, I would recommend looking at some population data. Look at a population pyramid. Look at census information. Make sure you know the difference between qualitative and quantitative and be able to process and answer questions on it. If you see a big base in a population pyramid, what inferences could you make? Number four is if you're going to use notes tomorrow, make sure you have them organized in advance. So if you're doing them online, great idea that I saw in the comments and really I should have said in the video, but if you have online ones, you can use control F during it and type in whatever you want and it'll find it right in your document. That's a great way to quick find information. Or if you're doing it on paper, make sure they're organized. So when the test comes, you can quickly reference what you need. So right now, this is a great time to make sure your notes are organized and ready to go. Remember though, to make sure things are in your own words. You don't want to be cheating on this test. Number five is know the task verbs or the command verbs. Same thing, but this is going to be important this year. The FRQs are going to use these to ask you questions. And it's important for us to understand what's being asked of us. If we don't understand what describe is, or if we don't understand what explain means, then it's going to be hard for us to fully answer the question. And if you need more help with that, I have a video that breaks down the different task verbs. Number six is to practice doing FRQs and time yourself. Get used to the timing of this test. That's actually probably one of the biggest things. Make sure you submit your answers before the end of that test. So when you see that five minutes up and it's right down getting to the wire, make sure you're submitting your work. Don't try to wait for that last minute and then try to 
to upload it. You might miss the window and that'd be terrible. So make sure you've practiced FRQs, make sure you've practiced being timed and make sure you've practiced in the exact environment and also the exact way you're going to take the test. This way, when you get to the test tomorrow, you're going to be more relaxed. It's something you're more comfortable with because you've done this before. And I know, I know practicing a bunch of FRQs or practicing a time test, sitting there taking it super seriously, not on TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram, that isn't fun, but it will pay off in the future. Even if you do it just once or twice, it'll help you out. Number seven is to make sure you have all your prep work done. Today, make sure you have it all set. You should have your e-ticket by now. Make sure you have your document set up where you have your e-ticket number on the top. You got your initials. You are ready to go. Maybe you've even already started labeling your test, A, B, C, so that way right when this test starts, you just start typing or handwriting, you're good to go. So make sure your prep work is done and don't forget to sign in tomorrow 30 minutes before the exam so you can start right away. We don't wanna waste time trying to answer security questions when you should be answering these questions. And number eight is pretty similar to my first tip, but have confidence in yourselves. You guys can do this. You guys took a risk this year. You're taking an AP class. For many of you, it's the first time you've ever taken an AP course. And props to you. You didn't take the easy way out. You're taking the way more difficult route. You're also doing all this online during COVID. All these different things are happening right now and you're still hanging in there and you're still trying. That's the biggest thing. So have confidence in yourself. Tomorrow when you open that test and you start, breathe. Focus on what you know first. Break down the question. If you see a word you don't know, it's okay. You can break it apart. You guys are a lot smarter than you realize. Have confidence in yourselves and you guys will do great. And those are my eight tips. You can take them or leave them, really. It's up to you. Hopefully they helped you out though. And again too, if you haven't checked out some of the other videos on the channel, check them out. Hopefully they'll be able to help you in your studying. At the end of the day though, remember it is just a test and you guys can do this. Okay, that's all I have for today. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, by the way, too, for all of you guys who have been subscribing. This is awesome. It is so cool to see this community grow. One of the things that's actually been the coolest for me is to see how you guys are actually helping each other in the comment section, answering each other's questions. I've been really busy the past couple days and I feel bad I haven't been able to get to everyone's comments. I've been reading them, but I haven't been able to answer them. So it's awesome to see you guys actually answering and helping each other out. What an awesome community we have. Okay, I'm Mr. Sin and really, you know the drill by now. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it, help out your other friends who might be taking this course. And of course, until next time, I'll see you online.